Hello my friends, it's WebDevMania again and this video will be about deploying your Merton website. So here I have the full ordering web application that I have a video on it uh, and I didn't deploy it in the video that I have created it. So right now I'm going to show you how to deploy this application and you can apply the knowledge to deploy your own Merton websites my friends. So if you find this interesting, let's continue. So. First, I want to log in here. So here in my email and here I'm going to type my password. So a render is for deploying your backend specifically and Netlify for frontend. So here I'm going to log in to Netlify as well. So here I just click it and yes, I'm here. Okay, so let's first start with a render. So here you see here new. On I clicked new then click on the second row web service and here you need to paste your link so here let me go to my github let's go to the repositories here and let me copy the link for my food ordering application so let me paste it and click continue okay here i need to type the name so here burn food up then here the root directory for the backend so you see here it's backend the root directory so here i'm going to type backend as well then here the build command is npm install and here the start command is npx normal okay then let's scroll to the bottom and click create web service okay we need to do one more thing here click on environment you see here and here we need to add our environmental variables so here i'm going to copy my mongo underscore url and here i'm going to paste the link then add environmental variable another one so here port 5000 and lastly here jwt underscore secret and here my secret and here let's click on save changes and here of course we need to click on manual deploy and deploy latest commit we need to do this so those changes will take effect and here it is going to be ready in several minutes okay so our backend has been deployed successfully as you see here so let me copy this url here we're going to need it and here let me go to my client and here you i'm going to show you why i'm going to do what i'm going to do so here inside food details here you see here we make a query to our local host here we get damage from our local host and we need to do it like this instead of our local host we need to do it with the url that we just got here like this right now and here how we can do it in a much faster and simpler way we can go here to search and here http colon slash slash localhost 5000 here and i'm going to replace it with this like this here so right now so right now if i go here to the let's go here to the create let me see here ah, it has not been changed why if i okay i need to do it probably manually i don't care so i'm going to paste it paste it i'm going to go here so what else here inside the food food catalog i don't know why they are not changed i'm not sure but we are going to do it manually it's not a problem so here what else we have here so food details food catalog so here inside the food catalog and here we just have the for the food for the food details here for the query and here for the login and here register okay we are ready with this part with copy pasting uh the next part here is to go to the terminal cd client and run npm run build we need to run this and then is here you are as, as you are seeing we have a build folder and we are going to deploy this build folder to our native to netlify so it is going to take literally like another 10 seconds okay it's ready as you see here while i was talking it's ready so here you are on netlify on the home page here as you see here home page 
and here drag and drop your site output folder here or browse to upload. Click here. Let me go here to the local disk G, but just let me see put ordering more up. Okay, so just I need to know the name. So here put ordering more up. So it is here, here click on client, here the build and here upload. And here this will upload all files from build, only do this if you trust the site. I myself trust Netlify. So here I clicked here. And it's going to be ready in two seconds. So come on, one, two. Okay, it's ready. Okay, so here you see the URL. I can click on the URL. And you see here, let me click on logout and let me try to register. Okay, so here, username one, username one at gmail.com, one, two, three, one, two, three. Here I'm going to open the console okay i have been so the request was successful you see here nice let me try to create uh, let's say a burger so here burger 2 the description i'm just going to write something here burger here upload download uh where it is the uh, documents light shot and here i'm going to click on burger price one two three four and review five submit and i have some problem here let me see what is it fail to resource the server status responded with a status of 403 let me see why ah it's not a problem uh from it's not a problem from our deployment is because here i have made it let, let me show you just a second. Here, product controller, and here, because I have made the verify token to be only for admins here. So, if, uh, so in order to see that the functionality is really working, I'm going to go here to browse collections and I'm going to make my user to an admin. So the functionality works, I just need to make my user to an admin. So here is admin is false as you see here. Let me make it to true and click on update. Nice. So uh, let me go here again to create. So burger to something here, category burger, upload here, burger here, this picture, price one, two, three, four, five, six. And here review five. So click and submit here and Come on, come on. Okay, you see here we get the ID here, the URL here. If I click add to cart, the burger is here in the cart. So guys, the functionality works here. The deployment is successful. So if you want to see a video that I have uh, deploy inside, you can check my last video. And guys, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye.